Okay, so time to talk about one of my favourite topics, and that is error codes. Let's look at ER1, error 1, which is the temperature sensor cable, which looks like this. ER1. That means that this sensor cable here is not connected properly. So if this happens, the first thing to do is to check the cable in between the grill and the hopper here to make sure it's connected properly. If this connection here is okay and we're still getting problems, two things to check. Number one is the connection into the back of the controller. We'll do that first. If that's still not good, then it's the probe inside which needs to be replaced. So to do this, screwdriver and a little flathead screwdriver for the inside. Make sure you unplug, not just turn off, but unplug the controller from power. If you don't, you can short out the circuit board and damage it. Okay, gently lift this out. And we're looking for, it could be on the left or the right, we're looking for this little terminal block here. So what you want to do is make sure that these cables here are nice and tightly in place. If they're not, obviously we can loosen these off and make sure the cables are tightly in there and tighten back up. If we still have a problem, then it's going to be an issue with the sensor inside, which you can get a spare part from the Zegrills team and replace that quite easily. ER2 often happens if you already have it on a temperature setting when you turn the power on. Boom, error 2. If this is happening while the grill is running, it would indicate there's, a, there's actually the power's cutting out and then coming back on, which may be a problem with the actual circuit board, and I've seen that happen once or twice as well. But normally, ER2, first thing to do, turn back the shutdown cycle, turn off, and then turn back again, and then you should be okay. Now, if you see an HER, which is the high temperature error, It'll happen if you do run the grill on high with the lid open for a long period of time. You get a lot of pellets dumping in. When you finally shut the lid, you get a very, very high temperature above 287C or 550 degrees F. Another possibility if the grill is actually not at that high temperature um, is a problem with this probe here. Um, a couple of screws here, unplug the cable between the two and you can easily replace that probe, getting a spare part from the Z grill team. It's also a good idea to keep this fairly clean, although it shouldn't contribute to an HER, but it may lead to inaccurate temperature readings, so give it a wipe down. Be careful not to overly bend it because it will crack at the bottom if you hit it too hard when you're putting your grill rack in or when you're cleaning it. So just gently give that a wipe down with a moist cloth um, to keep that nice and clean to get nice, accurate temperature readings. LER is a low temperature error, and that can occur if the grill runs um, below about 65 degrees C, 150 degrees F for a certain period of time, um, that error will show up. Now that can often occur if you run out of pellets, so the grill's been running, 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 runs out of pellets, the temperature drops, eventually that LER error will occur. Um, it could also possibly occur when you start the unit up um, if you have this covered in ash or if the ignition rod is not working and so you never actually get a fire forming. Now normally you should know that because you should see the system start up with the lid open, smoke occurring and then you should shut the lid. Um, so the most common thing is if you run out of pellets.